What's up, my royal brothers and sisters? This episode is about the misconceptions that need to be debunked and conquered so you can travel more. Engage. How would you like to stay in spectacular beach houses the next time you travel? Forget about expensive hotels, become a house sitter. This episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by The House Carers. Use the link in the description and be matched up with your desired locations today. All right, so the first misconception is they don't like black people or Americans. So, every time you think of traveling to a foreign land, you cringe in fear because in your head, you envision being backed into a corner and surrounded by a bunch of money and bloodthirsty racists who will kill you if you do one false move or will see to it that they throw you in some filthy jail for a crime you didn't even commit or some petty crime. And they won't let you free until you come up with some ungodly amount of money. And that's the US cops before you even get on the plane. But then, after you finally do get to the foreign country, you may encounter the same environment, plus you won't even be able to speak the native language. And you won't be able to communicate with anyone while going through that fiasco. But y'all, let me explain a term to you called unwarranted propaganda. It's the tendency to make huge predictions about the future on the basis of a few small facts. Now, this is a common fallacy. Now, most Americans will tell you that the United States is the safest place on the globe. They'll tell you that it's the bestest, the richest, and the fairest land of them all. But you know what? To be honest, in a lot of cases, they'll actually be right. But let's not go overboard, because if we were to eliminate the propaganda altogether, we'd understand that Switzerland actually has the lowest crime rate recorded. But more importantly, to a passport king, the safest country for tourists is Norway, Sweden, New Zealand, Austria, Netherlands, Singapore, Iceland, Hong Kong, and Finland. But I'll be honest, that list is hardly a list of places that I can't wait to see. But my point is, the USA is not even on that list. Not to mention, if you were to take into consideration that violent crime from criminals is not the scariest thing that can happen to somebody like me or you in the US. Because me being a black dude, I could think of a lot more scary things that could happen to me in the US than overseas drug wars that I'm not involved in. Like a cop turning his headlights on behind me while I'm driving. They've been known to plant things and be more nervous than me while having a weapon, a badge, and the trust of the United States to kill me. And they're also known to instigate confrontations so they can feel the power that that badge affords them. And plus, fill the quota of arrests that that little town needs to financially survive. Because me, I know of some towns that will go bankrupt in a week if there were no arrest or probation payments. Another thing that us American dudes need to be afraid of is getting some crazy lady pregnant or being accused of getting some crazy lady pregnant and it's not even yours. Then they have some child support agency tracking you down, taking all the assets you've built off your own back, throw you in jail, and divide up the money between that woman and the court system. Not to mention some chick that gets a kick out of the fact that the prison industrial complex has claimed another victim. Here's another thing that you should be more afraid of than being involved in some crazy old drug war overseas. Traffic stops. Cops are killing people over traffic stops these days, and I don't want to be a part of that. Yes, overseas places have overbearing cops, and they also have people that are poor and are looking for a way to get some money, but it's absolutely worse when the people that are supposed to be protecting you is actually shooting you in the back while you're trying to run for safety. And what's the old thing? Oh, if he wasn't running, he's not guilty. But you know what? Trayvon Martin wasn't running, and he still got shot, all right? So stop with the he, if he wasn't running stuff. So that ends my video. Sorry, I got a little bit <laughs> passionate there. That ends my video of the misconceptions that people need to get over before they start uh, traveling. Listen, you're going to another country, you're going to be the guest in another people's land. 
Imagine if somebody came to your house and they were a guest from another country. Would you really treat them so terribly, huh? No, you wouldn't. And you may be thinking, oh, that's because of an American. But guess what? Americans are not the nicest people on this planet. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we really aren't, man. So if you go into somebody else's house or if you go into somebody else's land and they see that you're not from there and you're trying to communicate with them or try to get like a just a conversation from them so you can either find where you're going, let them uh, take you around and show you some places that you wouldn't have known about if you weren't from that land. Guess what? They'll do it. You know why? Because usually people are nice people and like I said on my very first video, we all want the same things, man. We want to be able to take care of our children. We want to be able to have a nice place to live, and we want to be able to travel back and forth to where we need to go. That's the end of this episode of Passport Kings. What I would like you to do is go to my Facebook page and like my page. My Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash Passport Kings. Like my page, leave a message, go to one of my uh, groups, come to my page. My name is Rockland. That's R-O-K. L-A-N-D is my last name and leave a message and also check out my videos every Wednesday on YouTube that's YouTube slash C slash Password Kings and I will be sure to put up a new video every week so enjoy the show and have a good day and thanks for coming to Password Kings once again I'm Rockland and I'm out peace and you know what when you walk through the streets and you're not afraid of everything that's coming at you, which can also happen in any U.S. city, that's when in your heart, you'll feel like a king. A passport king. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. You and Quinn? All right, so the first misconception is that I'm not involved in. One second.